All right, so we're gonna get started. I didn't even say my name. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Shannon Simpson. I'm the Early College Coordinator for Benjamin Franklin Institute of Technology. Um, so welcome, and I'm very happy to see so many faces, um, students, counselors, and parents um, participating in their child's future. So um, at this point, I'm gonna um, <coughs> share my screen with you guys, and we can get started. So I'm going to tell you guys um, a little bit about what you may have already heard um, in information sessions, but just for some of the parents um, who may have not heard this information, um, this is what your child is doing at the moment. Um, so Benjamin Franklin is one of the top trade schools in the South End area of Boston, Massachusetts. Um, we typically house about 500 students, um, and most of them are from the Boston Public Schools and the Boston Public Neighborhood, so Dorchester, Roxbury, Mattapan um, areas. And then we have a 85% job placement rate um, with all of our um, majors, but specifically with opticianry, um, we have a 99% job placement rate um, since we're the only school in Massachusetts that offers that major specifically. Um, so since everyone here is in high school, some of the, <coughs> some of the, um, um, programs that you're going to be participating in are dual enrollment or the advanced standing associate program. So dual enrollment again is for you know exploring the trades. You can take one to three courses um, and kind of get your feel for what you want to major in once you're in college, um, whether it's BFIT or not. And then the advanced standing associate program is specifically for seniors um, who know that they want to come to Benjamin Franklin once they graduate from high school. So during their senior year, they'll come to Benjamin Franklin fully instead of taking their classes with it during their senior year at their high school. Um, and that allows students to earn their full freshman year um, during their senior year for a specific major of their choice. So as a dual enrollment or advanced standing associate student, um, these are some of the expectations you may have seen um, when you got your acceptance letter. Um, and going through the goals and expectations worksheets. So attending class every day, what that may look like if you have a fully virtual class is checking Canvas daily. So as we kind of talked about earlier, if your class does not have a specific time and date um, to meet for a live Zoom session, um, then you have to check Zoom daily to see when your assignments are due. Um, sometimes you have to watch a video by a certain date and complete an assignment um, that has to do with that video by a certain date. Um, so checking it daily will just keep you um, proactive and ahead of the game for any of the assignments you have and if you're taking more than one course. Um, another one is always checking with your advisor, who will be me. Um, I will also be connecting you with the success coaches. So for those of you who are in the Advanced Standing Associate Program um, and you know that you will be coming to Benjamin Franklin, once you once you are finished with this year, um, I will no longer be your advisor. So during this time, I'm gonna have you meeting with your advisor for your specific major um, for once you matriculate, once you become a regular Benjamin Franklin student. And don't hesitate to reach out to your professors either. Um, they're a great resource and they have all the answers for your classes. Um, I will know only so much about your specific classes. Um, again, I have about 50 students on my caseload at the moment, and many of you are taking about five, maybe six courses. Um, so really reading your syllabus. Um, if you have any questions, I'm definitely the person um, that you can go to um, as, the first point, as the first point person. Um, so feel free to always come to me with any questions. And if you're even nervous about contacting your professors, emailing them or calling them, um, we can always do that together. Um, so things that you can expect from me are I will always make time for you as I said um, once we are well so for the students who have on-campus courses um, I will be doing random check-ins um, so you might see me you know peeking in in your classroom for the days I am on campus um, and just making sure that you're there or even if it's after class um, if I can catch you just doing a quick face-to-face check-in 
um, but you will have those weekly phone calls from me. Um, and you know, if there's no contact or anything like that, I'll reach out to your counselor or your um, parents so that we can, you know, figure out those next steps for you. Um, but if you're interested in coming to Benjamin Franklin as a dual enrollment student, I can help with that transition that, um, you know, the process in terms of reapplying um, as a regular student and completing the FAFSA as well and anything else that comes along with that. So some mandatory um, events and <coughs> meetings that we have are the monthly Zoom meetings. Um, so each month um, during the fall semester, I will host a live Zoom session for all of my early college students. So dual enrollment and the Advanced Standing Associate program together. Um, this is just a way for you guys to see each other's faces, um, get to know one another, and really just stay engaged with the classes that you're already in. Um, you might not even know that someone in your school or someone from another school that you may know or don't know is in the same exact class with you, um, but this is just another way to keep you engaged. Um, we'll again have those one-on-one -on -one weekly phone meetings um, with me. Um, we'll also have peer mentoring. So for those of you um, who are interested in having a mentor, um, you can put your name in the chat. Um, so basically, a student who was already in dual enrollment or the advanced standing associate program, but they are now um, a Benjamin Franklin College student, um, they will be your mentor because you are now the next group of um, early college students. So if you're interested in anything like that, you can just put your name right into the chat um, and I'll know that means that you are interested in a mentor. Um, we also have the holiday party in December. Um, the Academic Success Seminar. Um, so for students who are taking more than one course with us, um, typically the Advanced Standing Associate Program students, um, if you get a C- minus or lower in your first semester with us, in the second semester you will have to take this course. Um, and it's really more excessive advising from me, um, more um, me explaining what time management is and making sure that you have study halls with me, um, just a, more of a contact point. Um, so that we can make sure you're staying on top of everything that you need to do. Um, and then we have the end of the year celebration and trip that the students get to choose. Oops. So what if I'm not doing well in my class? Um, so this is, I'm really trying to have a proactive um, and preventative strategy in terms of advising um, with the weekly phone calls and the monthly um, live Zoom sessions. Um, so, and the, um, what is it called? The great updates for Canvas are live. Um, so they should, they typically are, um, they are trying to have those updated more quickly and more consistently um, than before. Um, so grades will be in more, um, more consistently for the fall and spring semesters. Um, so those weekly conversations will have a lot more content um, in terms of what those grades look like, what specific assignments are being missed, um, and things like that. Um, and then we'll also um, draw in the professor to see if there is still time to make sure um, those assignments can be made up, um, the amount of time that, um, you know, you'll have for those specific assignments and other extra credit if possible um, to make up that grade so that make sure you're passing. Um, so with that, if there is no communication, um, if I've reached out to you and I haven't heard anything back from you in about two to three days, um, and then I reach out to your counselor and your parents, um, and there's still no response directly from you, um, that will um, put you on warning. So if it's been about a week and I've reached out to your parents and your counselors, and I've still heard nothing from you, and I've seen no change on Canvas in terms of the grades that, uh, or assignments that you need to make up, um, and your professor tells me you're still missing class, um, after that warning, if I continue to hear nothing, um, you will be dropped automatically, um, just because your parents and your counselors are not doing the work for you. Um, you know, they can continue to tell me, oh, he'll get it done, or she'll get it done, but if there's no work being done on Canvas and I have no communication directly from you, um, with the consensus from your um, counselor and parent, you will be dropped from the class. But again, with those weekly calls, um, we are really trying to have a preventative um, 
you know, practice so that everyone passes their class. So some of the early college resources we offer are the Academic Success Center, uh, which is online. Um, once we go through the Canvas, um, you'll be able to see if it's been uploaded already. The Academic Success Center, um, which is literally just a little card on there that just like your class that you can click on and register for tutoring. Excuse me. So typically your professors are the ones doing tutoring. Um, and this is a great, this is great because they know everything about that specific topic you want to know more about. Um, but it's also another way for you to build your networking skills. Um, it can be nerve wracking to reach out to your professor just for, um, you know, a small question. Um, but then it can be a little more nerve wracking to actually sit there with, for tutoring with this new person. Um, but always feel free to contact me um, so that we can set that up together. Um, you know, communicate with your professor and your high school counselors together. Um, for any barriers that you you feel may come um, come about, um, the library is also online at the moment. Um, so you guys don't really have to worry about the library. I provide all books um, for early college students. Um, so for all of those who everyone should already be um, know the classes they're going to be in, even if you're not registered. Um, so I will already have those books prepared for you. If you are, if your class is specifically online, the book will be mailed to you. Um, if the if your class has a on-campus component, um, I will meet you on campus on the day of your class, before or after, um, so that I can give you that book personally. Um, uh, we also, you guys also have access to the Career Center. Um, so if you want any help with building your resume, professionalism skills, interview skills, um, getting a job in your specific field, like if you're an ASAP student, advanced and associate program student, um, and you want to try to get a, feel, a job in like construction management, if that's what you're doing, um, you can talk about the different pathways and what that looks like with the amount of knowledge you have so far. Um, but they also assist with getting immediate jobs if you don't feel that you have enough knowledge in your specific field. And then we have the student wellness office. Um, so this office um, specifically provides any food um, insecurities, any, any food necess necessities that students have. Um, we have a food pantry there. Um, we also provide transportation assistance. Um, we provide a $30 a month um, bus pass for students 25 and under. And there is a um, licensed social worker there. So if there's any um, other resources that need to be accessed on or off campus, um, she can also help with that. Okay, uh, so how do I access my classes? So if you've gotten an acceptance letter, well, everyone got an acceptance letter, whether you started taking classes in the summer or in the fall. Um, so step five lays out how to, you know, access your Canvas. So you should have your Benjamin Franklin login ID and a password. Password is typically the first couple letters of your last name with the numbers associated in your email. Um, so, oops. so at this point, I'm going to um, open up Canvas so you guys can kind of see what it looks like if you haven't um, had the opportunity to, to see it yet. Download. Okay. All right, we'll come back to that one. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go over the safety guidelines and then try to get Canvas up and running. Um, so for those of you ha who have classes on campus, um, everyone has received a, um, safety guideline package or email, basically. Um, this email kind of lays out what you need to do in terms of safety precautions for being on campus. Um, and it also has a um, check mark at the bottom for if you would like to opt out of on-campus classes and do everything virtually. So if you're like in an automotive class um, for the Advanced Learning Associate Program, 
um, and you don't want to take any of your classes on campus um, because you feel uncomfortable or you know someone who's sick that you're you know always around and you don't want to put anyone else at risk um, there is a check that you can there's a box that you can check at the bottom of that sheet that you can opt out of on on campus courses um, but some of the daily requirements um, as everyone should know is wearing your face covering um, and VFIT will also provide those um, so anyone that's on campus I will be providing masks to you as well when I give you your books um, max 10 people per classroom that's nine students and one professor um, always stay six feet apart at all times and wash or hand sanitize your hands regularly um, I definitely recommend washing your hands more often than sanitizing it um, just to be safer um, so I'm just going to read the first paragraph um, and then everyone was emailed this stuff so they should be taking the time to read everything on their own um, so if you are scheduled to come to campus this semester you will need to acknowledge your understanding of the health and safety requirements by signing the last page of the guide and turning that page into security in the BFIT lobby on your first day on campus so if you're going to campus on your first day you will get an acknowledgement form it was attached with the email that was already sent out or will be sent out um, and this is what it looks like. You just need to sign this page and you have to check the box if you would like to opt out of going to campus for your classes or if you would like to um, stay in those in-person classes. Um, so that's just a way for the school to know how many people will be on campus so that they can keep everyone safe. Um, they also have regular cleanings every night. Um, so that's another way that we are going to be um, making sure to have a preventative practice of getting anyone sick. Um, please also complete the health assessment survey. Um, this is just a way for us to know if you've been out of the country, out of the state, been feeling sick, woozy, you know, itchy, whatever it may be. Um, we really want to try to keep everyone safe who is going to be on campus. Um, students, staffs, parents, and anyone else. Um, if you are confused about whether or not you need to go to campus, um, please let me know now. Um, you can give me a thumbs up. Um, and I can, okay. Sorry, I'm trying to make this bigger. Um, so, okay, I will respond to you guys in the chat, um, but I do see you guys. Um, thank you for the thumbs up. Oops. Yep. All right. So, classes start September 8th and go to December 21st. Most of you um, are in a class like this. Some of you, um, specifically optician students, um, some of you may have classes um, that are only seven weeks. So that means it's going from September 8th to October 28th for those seven week classes. And then um, you may have another session of classes starting October, sorry. They will go from September 8th to October 20th. And then you may have another session of courses starting October 28th, going to December 21st. Those are specifically for opticianry students. And um, opticianry students, or most students who, all students who have um, a lab class, um, if you look at your schedule, let's see if I can pull one up right now. Um, so if you look at your schedule, you will be able to see which, um, what days you need to be on campus and what days are online. So I'm gonna show, 
one person's schedule who I know is going to be on campus or has on campus classes. Okay, so this specific person has um, engines, automotive engines, the lecture. So LEC is lecture. That is always going to be online. And then you look here in the right hand corner, it says room online. And this class has a specific time and date. Wednesdays 1 to 3.55. But he also has a lab for that specific class. So he has engines lecture and then he has engines lab. So that lab class is on campus. So it just says the room number. It doesn't say on campus. That is the way that you will know if you have to go to campus or if your class is online. If you did not get a specific um, schedule that looks like this, I most likely emailed you the classes that you will be in because they're fully online. So if you're in like a social science class, an English class, a math class, all of those classes are online. All lectures are online. Um, for those of you who haven't gotten your schedules yet, oops, um, for those of you who haven't gotten your schedules yet or don't have access to Canvas, um, you will receive all of that by tomorrow or Saturday. Um, there's just um, things that the registrar has to do um, before, um, sorry, there's just certain things that the registrar has to do to make sure that you guys are gonna be registered for those classes um, and gonna receive all the information. So making sure the data is in there, in our system and everything like that. Um, but you will receive all that information by Saturday, Saturday at the latest and be able to access your Canvas by Saturday at the latest as well. Um, so if you have any questions or, you know, concerns about that, if you haven't gotten any information about that yet, um, just contact me and I can let you know, um, you know, what the status, specific status is um, for your registration. Um, so that's pretty much the end. I think it went faster than I expected. Um, but yeah, so feel free to call me or email me um, and we can stay on now together um, for anyone who has any questions. Um, but if you don't have any questions, um, feel free to hang up and thank you guys for participating. Um, and I hope to see you guys soon. Um, I have a question. I think you still have my son. Um, sorry, hold up. I think you still have my son under um, Jesus and it's Justin. Jesus. Uh, yeah. So I did get an email that I just seen it when you just went to the schedule. So I wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> wait. That that <laughs> wasn't his schedule. This is not his. Oh no no no! When you were scrolling, it had a whole bunch of names. I seen Jesus. I just want to make sure it was it's corrected. About this? It's, supposed, it's supposed to be Justin Ramirez. Are you talking about this list? Yeah. Oh, his name is not here. Oh, okay. Yeah, Jesus is a different student. Sorry. Okay, no, because you emailed me one time with Jesus. I was like, oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. That was my fault. Yeah, I do want to make sure. All yeah, right, no, so I, I got him. So he won't get his Canvas access to till Saturday? Yeah, so everything will be, anyone who hasn't gotten anything um, as of yet, um, they'll have everything by Saturday. Okay, I'm, um, all right, I'll, I'll let him know. He's filling out that form right now. Okay, cool. Um, the, the Word doc that you guys sent in a note, I didn't, I didn't even notice it was on there, too, on the acceptance letter. Oh, okay, he yeah. Like a Word doc, so he's going through, the, through all that, too, right now. So. Okay, awesome. Yes, I'm okay. reading your guys' goals, and I'm excited to see them, see what you guys want from me um, and expect from me. So thank you guys for doing that. All right, no problem. Well, thank you. For a class that has not been given date or time, will that be an email sent out for us? Um, so uh, do you mean like when for when start classes start or like what do you mean? Like for classes that there's no date or time. Um, so for those classes, you'll just have to check Canvas every day um, to see when you have an assignment due um, because typically the professor will just upload the video or the 
um, the assignment that they need you to do. And you'll just have to do it kind of on your own time. Usually they have about two to two to five days um, between assignments. Um, so you just have to look at Canvas every day to see if it's available. Thank you. No problem. Um, for those of you who are still here, <laughs> um, I can sign into Canvas quickly and show you guys what it looks like. Um, for those of you who need a bus pass, um, so I would say the best thing is to send me an email, just letting me know you need a bus pass, um, and then I can connect you with the um, Emma. Um, she is the social worker on campus, um, and she can help with the bus pass. If your student missed this orientation, um, it is recorded. Um, so everyone will get this recording afterwards and they'll be able to still watch it. Um, so for Canvas, I think I stopped sharing. So this is Canvas. Um, so this is the login page. And then once you log in, your classes will be here. So for me, I have a responsible employee training and a COVID-19 training to do. Um, before I go back to campus. Um, and that's kind of what your classes will look like. You'll be able to click onto your class and then see if there's any assignments due, if there's any, um, you know, grades put up, if there's a video that you need to watch, um, if there's like a, a live conference, um, because sometimes um, the professor will have, instead of having a live Zoom session like this, uh, the professor will have um, a discussion, like a live discussion. Um, you know, written through chat. Um, and all you have to do is, you know, participate during the designated time. And um, yeah, make sure you're, you're participating during that time. But once you get into your class, this is what it will look like. Um, literally, um, you'll have your announcements. Um, and you should always go there to see if the, if the professor has any, made any announcements. Um, um, you'll also be able to see um, the inbox portion. So this is where you'll get any emails as well. Um, you can check your, you'll have a little blue inbox button here um, with any emails from any of your professors. And you can also send emails to any of your professors for any classes. Um, you'll be able to see your grades. Um, you can see the other people in the class. Um, so you can, if you wanted to interact with them, you'll be able to see your syllabus. Um, I would say read that as soon as you have access. Um, so that you can know what the teacher is expecting of you. Um, you can check your quizzes. And sometimes the, the professors put their um, live videos up a little differently. Um, so it could be in conferences or some professors have a specific um, link like this that just says Zoom um, and you'll click that. Um, but once you have access, just play around with it a little bit. Um, click on all the classes that you're taking, read your syllabus. Um, you know, just press all the buttons and see, see what's behind them um, so that you can make sure that you're getting all of the information um, because I can't, um, you know, read every syllabus for you guys and, and let you know what specific assignments are due when. Um, we're only going to have those, those weekly sessions at, um, to start with, but if you need more than that weekly um, session, you can always let me know that, you know, you need that two times a week or three times a week for me to call you or email you or text you. Um, but please practice putting up a alarm um, for when your classes start. Um, this summer, a lot, some of my students slept through their classes. Um, so please try to put up an alarm or, you know, just have different practices to make sure you're going to be responsible and um, be on time for class. Um, this is another space um, that you're basically applying for a job because this is the college level um, and a lot of these people, professors, um, know industry partners or people who can help you get jobs um, and often our industry partners come to campus and create the curriculum. So if you're doing well in it and um, well with your professionalism, um, 
then you'll definitely do well in a career. Does anybody else have any questions? Oh, yes. Um, I just saw that in the writing, I'm um, in the chat. Um, you can download this on your phone, Canvas, um, and you can do assignments and watch your videos on your phone as well. Um, you should have 100% access um, on any of your phones as well. Um, okay, for anyone who's having, um, who took a class with me in the summer um, and was having issues with their Canvas in the summer, um, you can email me directly um, and I can try to work that out um, and see if our IT um, group can, you know, see what the issue is. Um, so books will be mailed out next week. Um, so you don't typically need books for your first week of class. Um, and most professors do put up um, reading assignments for the first week of class onto Canvas. Um, so if you uh, need a book or if you feel like you need a book before the first week, um, before next week, before Monday, um, just let me know. Um, I'm very flexible with, you know, finding a place that we can meet up so we can, you know, do the handoff of the book. Um, and I also just got my license and I'm very happy about that in the car. Um, so I wouldn't even mind driving it to you if it's not too far. Um, any other questions? Um, um, yes, you can take spring classes if you would like to. Um, as long as you're enrolled in high school, um, you can take classes with us. Okay. So if you have no more questions, um, feel free to hang up and I'll just stay on until the last person um, is ready to go. Have a good rest of your day, everybody.